Hi guys! I'm Bryony, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Now today is an exciting video because it is about one of my many favourite things which is handbags. So um, I've got quite a big, of, big collection of handbags, I do love them, but the most of them that I have are by Killstar. Now, if you are into gothic alternative fashion, chances are you know who Killstar are. They're um, a UK brand, but they're also sold in America and that as well. Um, their quality can sometimes be a bit hit, hit and miss. Like, even though it's called a luxury brand, like they call it a cult luxury, it's not. some of the materials aren't really luxury. So, some of the prices... Well, a lot of the prices are expensive, but I wouldn't personally pay that much for the items. Don't get me wrong, the items that I have are amazing and I love them. But I always make sure I wait for a sale or if someone buys me a voucher or something. Um, Killstar do uh, sales quite often, so that's my tip. Never buy something from Killstar full price. <laughs> always wait for the sale. But anyway, I want to show you the bags that I have from there tell you about them and probably do like cutaways of me holding them as well you know styling them there we go i changed the lighting a bit so hopefully that's a bit better but the first bag i want to show you is the first one that i ever bought from killstar which is the webberton handbag which is 39.99 full price but again like i said everything i buy from killstar is in the sale so this is the webberton handbag i love it um, so as you can see, it's faux leather, um, Killstar don't use real leather, it's all vegan leather. So it's got this spider web detail, which is pretty cool, it's on the back as well. We've also got a zip at the back, I think that's quite a good one for like your phone. Um, we've got side pockets that are buttons. Um, which I usually use for like a packet of tissues, something like that, or now hand sanitizer. <laughs> um, and it's a zip one. I personally prefer bags that are zips because if it's just like a popper, I get nervous that someone's gonna, you know, like pickpocket me. So if we open it up, there's quite a lot of space. Like it doesn't look that big but i could fit loads in it like i've taken it on holidays and i've taken it on the beach and i've got my book my sunglasses my purse my phone um any makeup or sun cream stuff you know i you can fit a lot in here and i've used it so much um it goes with so many things because it's just plain black but it's just got that lovely spider web detail and we also got the kill star logo and as you can see it's in the shape of a bat which is pretty cool and then it's just got these handles it doesn't have a longer handle but yeah i love this i've used it so much and the quality's good it's lasted a long time i think i've maybe got this 2018 maybe yeah 2018 and it's just a great everyday handbag so yeah that is the first bag that i have So the next one I ever got, I didn't actually buy, my boyfriend bought it for me. Every Christmas and birthday I send my boyfriend my Killstar wish list and he just picks whatever he wants from it and he buys it for me. So he doesn't have to think too hard about what to get me and I know it's going to be something I love but I also got the surprise element because I don't know what he's going to pick from the list. So that's how we do it. So this is the Never Trust the Living handbag, which is $39.99. And this is it. So it's the exact same style of handbag. It's the Webberton one, but it's black and white striped, which is pretty cool. I mean, I have black and white striped trousers exactly like this. So I love putting this bag with that. Some people might say that's a bit too much, but... I like a bit too much <laughs> so again we've got the logo on the front in the shape of a bat we've got the handles the one um 
a different thing about the actual shape and design of this handbag compared to the web wooden one is that it's got a long handle that you clip on the side so you can take it on and off which is pretty good so I actually normally use it with the long handle rather than then these ones it's the exact same on the inside it's got an inside pocket like the other one and it's also got the pocket on the back as well in the the uh, clip ones on the side so yeah I really love this one the only issue I've got is so I got this Christmas 2019 and I used it twice maybe three times and the zip broke so when you zip it up let me demonstrate it doesn't oh I just hit myself in the face with it um see it doesn't zip so I really need to get that fixed I keep meaning to go get it fixed and then it doesn't happen I've tried doing it myself I've tried the trick where you rub pencil on it and I think there's one with soap I tried something like that I've tried all the tricks and I can't do it so I'm going to take that to Timpson's uh, with hope that they can fix it for me <laughs> But I, I, I love this bag. I love it so much. Um, it's so cool. And my boyfriend also kindly bought me the matching purse or wallet. It's just more of a wallet than a purse. Um, this is $24.99. It wasn't on my wish list, but he saw it and was like, I need to get the matching wallet. So thank you. <laughs> so this one's got a detachable wrist strap, which is handy. We've got a zip on the back, so you can put something in that you can get easy access to. And then it's a zip up purse. So let me show you. This is what it looks like on the inside. So you've got space for cards. Um, you've got space for cards there, so you can fit a million cards in there. You've got these two spaces, maybe you put your cash in, something like that. And then in the middle, you got a zip bit for your change. So it's a really good purse. And actually, you could take this out by itself. Like, if you didn't need a handbag, you could just wear it like this, couldn't you? So yeah, I love those two together. I love pairing them together. Thank you, boyfriend. <laughs> so the next bag we have is... So beautiful like do you ever buy an item and you just stare at it because it's so beautiful that that is that item for me it is stunning um it's called the book of the beast tote bag and i've written down that it's 34.79 but i don't think it was that it was probably most likely 39.99 like the other bags um it's the bigger version there's two versions of this a smaller one and a bigger one this is the bigger one um I don't think they still sell this bag because I couldn't find it on the website but they have other bags in the exact same style that look really similar so you might be interested in those ones if you like this so let me show you it is oh I just love it it's this I don't know what it's called is it like patent or something it's a smooth shiny material so you can see the light reflecting on it and it kind of looks like a book and um, you've got the small handles but you've also got detachable long handles these handles are really short and then you've got this big thing right under your armpit so I actually prefer to use the long handle um, and when I when I wear this bag like I get a lot of compliments on it it's just so beautiful so on the front you can see it's a I think it's a baphomet I think they call it so let me show you it this way so you can actually see the design better and you see we've got pentagrams we've got this beautiful framing detail around it and it's just it's stunning like i never would have envisioned something like that in my mind that i would want but as soon as i saw it i was like oh my god i need that so there's no design on the back it's just plain black there's no pockets on the side or anything and then you've got a clasp, a button clasp, you know the ones where it's like magnet, magnetic. So you undo that and then you've got a zip, which I'm pleased about. 
because if it was just this I wouldn't feel like my stuff was very secure and then the inside oh my gosh the inside is this beautiful red velvet I mean how stunning is that and as you can see from the way I'm holding it you can fit a lot of stuff in this bag but I can't get over the lining like it's just an amazing detail to just add to the bag normally the lining isn't something I normally think about you know but that's just a beautiful detail to add to it rather than just boring black on the inside it's this stunning red velvet and as you can see you've got a pocket for your phone a bigger pocket and a zip pocket so yeah you can actually fit a lot of stuff in that and um, this might possibly be my top maybe my second favorite bag um it's beautiful isn't it i mean how can you think that's not beautiful it's just great <laughs> I want to show you is my favorite handbag and I got this one recently I got it in the box in the day sales actually I think or just before Christmas something like that oh I know it's just before Christmas I had a, a voucher and I used the voucher to buy this and this is yeah like I said this is my favorite bag so this is the vampire's kiss coffin bag and that is also 39.99 and as you can see it's a coffin shape how flipping cool is this this is another one that when i wear it people look at it and people compliment it or people think it's a bit weird but i don't care <laughs> so as you can see it's purple and then this bit is like a purple velvet and in the purple velvet, you can see all these beautiful roses, with their stems. And we've also got skull there. Um, it's also on the back as well. So again, you can see the skull and the roses. It's just, whoever designed this bag knew what they were doing. <laughs> so it's got the Killstar logo there in the shape of the bat. And it's a zip up one and the zip, the zip is pretty cool because it's a cross. Isn't that a cool extra detail that they could have just done a normal zip? But no, they added this to the zip and it's just beautiful. Um, I wonder how many times I'm going to say something is beautiful in this or something's gorgeous, stunning. <laughs> so let's unzip it. Now it isn't... You can't fit loads in there like this this wouldn't be one of your bags that you take out when you need to fit a lot of stuff in the bag so usually it's just like my wallet my phone um hand sanitizer you know but it's amazing it does come with a long strap so this is the strap for it it is purple um you can also um change the length of it and then it goes on to chains at the end with the clip on bit so you clip that on to the d-rings at the edges um i personally don't use the strap because i think it looks cooler just like that and i'll just yeah i'll just walk with it like that and i think it looks a lot more i don't know stylish but um the strap is still good to have i like it when bags have that option because sometimes i do prefer to do that um it does feel more secure and it's better when you need to have your hands free for something like say you're gonna go shopping you need your hands free for things so that's when these come in handy so yeah i think that's my favorite bag and then the of the tote bag is my second favorite um the coffin bag also comes in other colors so if you want other colors of it that's an option 
that's still available and the Webtoon bag and Never Trust the Living Bag are still available. I keep looking to the side because I've written notes of prices and names and stuff. next bag I want to show you is I wasn't sure whether to include this one or not because it's not technically a bag bag but it is a bag that makes it sound really weird but um it's actually a makeup bag and I've just noticed I've got something sticky there I wonder what that is this is called the cat eye makeup bag and it is $19.99 and as you can see it's got a cat on it I am a cat lady and the cat's got a crescent moon um, on its forehead and then it says may your cat eye be as dark as your soul which I think is very fitting for me because I love doing winged eyeliner and I have a dark soul <laughs> so I've got stuff in this bag um, not makeup random stuff but like the other handbags it's got a zip compartment and I think it's got a phone compartment yeah it's got a phone compartment and then a bigger pocket so it's pretty good I mean you can take this out and use it as a bag especially because it's got this detachable wrist strap but I was thinking this would be amazing when I go traveling I mean I haven't been traveling anywhere for ages because of COVID but when I eventually do go traveling I'm definitely going to use this Now we're on to the final final item which is called the crusher backpack so this time we're not we're not showing a handbag this one I got this month um I got it with a voucher and the reason I wanted a ham sorry a backpack is that I don't really have backpacks I've got one uh, backpack and I used it during um the all three years of university and then i've been taking it to work for over a year as well and it's just so torn up like the handle is coming apart everything's ripping and i need a new backpack and of course backpacks are good when you need to carry a lot of stuff and you need your hands free so this is it um i don't think this is available anymore i mean i got it the start of this month but i can't see it on the website now so i think i got it just before it went out of stock um but they do have other backpacks on the website that look similar to this so you know you might be interested in one of those so let's go through it so here you can see we have not one but two front pockets which i love because it helps you put things separate normally in pockets like these I'll put my hand sanitizer, uh, tissues, and maybe like some paracetamol, you know, things that you can get easy access to, or maybe like, I wouldn't put my phone or money in it, just in case I, I'd be worried someone would like pickpocket me, and I wouldn't know about it, but um, yeah, so we've got a deeper pocket there, and let's see how deep this one is. Oh, this one's the deepest pocket. And then the zip is connected to this chain. Now, I love that detail of the chain. I love it. But when, I, when I've when i worn this, every single step I take is clanking. And it drives me mad. So, even though I absolutely love, love the chain on it, I love the detail... I'm going to have to unclip it because I can't deal with it every step, you know. It clanks against these wonderful big blood studs that it has here. So I'm thinking maybe I could attach it in some way on here that it won't make that noise. Um, I haven't quite looked into it, but I'm going to because I'm hoping I can keep this on the bag. But if I can't, I'll just wear it on my jeans or something. Like, it's not going to go to waste. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got the large studs there. And then we also got some eyelets there. But you can't 
there's fabric behind it so you can't see into the contents of your bag so that's the front of it we've got the killstar logo here but um oh i've just noticed the sticker's still on it <laughs> but it's not in the bat shape like on the other handbags it's just rectangle so then we have got this part so it has no role it doesn't have a job it's just purely for um just adding detail to the bag so you've got a clip here that connects to a d-ring and that's just nice extra detail i mean it doesn't do anything but it's nice um there are pockets on the back on either side um they aren't zipped or clasp shut so you know I'd, I'd probably put a packet of tissues in them but that's it i won't put anything that i don't want to like i wouldn't want to lose you know um so there are pockets on the either side and then you've got the handle here if you know when you just need to grab it and go and then we got the um the straps that go over your shoulders so as you can see it is the faux leather here and then it goes into i don't know what this material is called but it's really smooth and shiny but it also means you can readjust the strap so it's comfortable on on your back and they feel really sturdy like this whole bag feels sturdy and really good quality so i don't think it's going to break anytime soon and then that's just the back of it it's just plain so then we have got the two zips there, so let's unzip them. There we go. Um, it has, again with the other bags, it's got the pocket for your phone, and then a larger pocket, and then a longer zip-up pocket, you know, you can put your keys in, your house keys, your car keys. And then just a really big space. I... I haven't tested my laptop in this yet. I don't. My laptop's fifteen inch, and I don't think it'll fit in this. It it might fit in it on its own, but it would not fit in this with the laptop case around it. Um, but I can certainly fit my lunchbox in in this, so that's good for work. Um, yeah, you can fit loads of stuff in it. Get your lunch in there. Get your purse. Your phone. A bag of makeup you know you can fit loads in this and it's just a really good everyday uh, backpack um i know i think i would love to take this bag when i need to do a lot of shopping or maybe i'm going for a long walk so, um so i want it on my back back rather than trying to have a handbag on my shoulder that keeps slipping off um yeah i'm really pleased i have this i know i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it I haven't so far because I haven't been anywhere, um, but I did wear it out once. So <laughs> it's left the house once. <laughs> so yeah, I, I love that. Just got to find out, you know, what to do with this. the bags now guys what did you think comment down below which was your favorite bag out of those and also tell me if you own any handbags or backpacks whatever from killstar i would love to know because they have so many stunning bags um on their website and they they're always bringing out new ones that i love um so i am building up quite a collection now <laughs> But yeah, that's everything I want to say, guys. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from me. Also, you can follow me on Instagram, which is Bryony B. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Take care, guys. Bye.